welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another IP recap. As I said yesterday, we went to a new game, or another game, or two games, or whatever you want to call it, say, whatever, I don't know. I'm going a little crazy here. <laughs> it's been one of those days. Uh, yes, Daniel and I went to a double header yesterday, and uh, it was a Legends, Texas Legends game, so, um, well, no. It was a Frisco Rough Riders game. But it was Texas Legends Night. There we go. See? I'm all jumbled up today. So uh, we got to see Fergie Jenkins, so more on that later. Um, before we get into the recap, I'm uh, going to go ahead and do the giveaway from last recap. So we got this 2012 Craig Gentry sliding into... I'm going to say third base from the angle. I don't know. Maybe second base. It's definitely not first nor home. So, All right. So, again, just to remind you, including this one, if you want to enter in a drawing, each one of my recaps, as long as I can get enough cards signed to, to do that, I'll be giving one away. You just got to be subscribed and comment down below. So let's get to this winner. Okay, here we are again at the Wheel of Name. So again, everybody in the order that they commented on the last video is here. If I can get it to focus. We have Alan Twitchell. We have St. Louis Cardinals fan 1990 and Blue Jays fan. Uh, Reindeer Studios, Viva Gallardo, Ethan ha uh, Hathaway, Remember the Great Sports, The High Corner, Scott Spaulding. All right, going to spin the wheel, and the winner is Ethan Hathaway. All right, send me an email, chasinginc13 at gmail.com, and uh, give me your address, and we'll get that right out to you. All right, congratulations again. Just send me that email, chasinginc13. Uh, Chasing Ink 13 at Gmail and uh, give me your address and I'll get that right out to you. Okay, this was my very first ever double header game, so it was very interesting. Uh, this is, it was since it's a minor league game, both games were seven inning games, so they they cut them shorter. They played one game, then they cleared the field, you know, redid the the dirt and everything for. About 30 minutes, and he came back and did the next game. Uh, Fergie Jenkins, I'm going to say, quote, threw out the first pitch. He uh, did not throw out the pitch. He had a little kid out there that threw the first pitch out for him. I don't know if he just don't want to throw it anymore, or his arm is just about to fall off from throwing so much all these years. But we did have a great time. Uh, we were able to graph before the first game. And um, I did get one before the second game, but more on that one later. Let's get right to these. Now, these two here are uh, for the team set. I did get the top one. Um, Chad Comer got him signed last game. So we added the development coach, Avery Sullivan, to the bottom there. So, completed, there we go, trying to get some light on there. Completed the coach cards on that one. Uh, still have another one to try and get set by both of them. Uh, next up, we got the hitting coach, Eric Dorton, I think is how you pronounce it. This is a 2021 Downey's Ducks card. He signed it very small right here. And he signed both of these, of course, right here in a very dark spot on a very small signature. Hard to see, but happy to get them. Just need to get the pitching coach, Jeff, oh, Jeff Anders, right up here. I asked him, but the pitcher, starting pitcher was warming up, and he said, after... And then never sign it. 
All right, next up, first time getting him. Um, he signed two for me and then one for Daniel. I don't know why. Maybe he didn't want to sign the other card that Daniel had. I don't know what's going on with that. But we have Sandro Fabian, or Fabian, here on the team set card. Jeez, come on. Anyway, there's one. Another team set card. And then this is a 2019 Heritage. The one he didn't sign was a Bowman. Alright, we got uh, Matt Watley on a 2017 Bowman. And then we got team set card. Another one. He was the starting catcher for the first game, so he didn't even come out at all in the second game. I don't know if he was in an ice bath or what. So, <laughs> all right. Then we got the manager, Jared Godert. Got two of those. Then we have David Garcia. And then on a custom, and we got one more of Chase Lee, and then we have Trey Hare, three of him, and then we got Jonathan Ornelas now. He signed two for me, signed that one, and this uh, 2019 Bowman, because he's only been doing two per, and he only signed team set card for Daniel, and he did not sign this Bowman card, what is it, it is a 2018 Bowman. This is a Chrome version, but found out later that he never signs this card. I didn't know that. So if any of you ever see him, he won't. He will not sign this card. I don't know why, other than the fact that it's got him in a Diamondbacks uniform. I don't know why he's in a Diamondbacks uniform. He's never been with the Diamondbacks. He was drafted. You see here, drafted in 2018. Maybe I can get this to show up. I don't know. Drafted by the Rangers. Uh, come on. Right there at the top. Anyway, drafted by the Rangers. Has always played in the Rangers organization. Has never been with the Diamondbacks. I don't know. That's just an error. They screwed up and put him on a Diamondbacks card or what. But he, um, he will not sign that card. So, I don't know if Sandro Fabian's card was the same thing. That's why he didn't sign it. Not sure. But I'm definitely taking these out of my my book since he won't sign them. What's the point? All right. We also got this uh, 2021 Hickory Crawdads um, athletic trainer signed. He was <laughs> pretty amused to uh, sign it because he never gets to sign anything, I guess. But, uh, yeah, Yuki Takazawa, I think is how you pronounce it. And he signed it there in his, uh, I don't know if that's Japanese or Korean or, or what, but uh, it says Japan on the back, so I guess it's Japanese. All right, next up we got Vernini Ozuna. I'm just going to say Ozuna. We, we got Ozuna. Because <laughs> I can't ever say his name either. We got two of him. I don't have anything else for him. We got Tay Tiedemann. Tay, Ty, I don't know. I've heard it both ways. Custom. Grant Anderson. That one's hard to see where he signed it, but we get some shine on it. Let's see, right there. And then we got loaded up on Dustin Harris. 
got his team set, and then his 2022 Bowman paper. So we got one, two, three, and four. And this is what uh, this is what this week's giveaway is going to be. Uh, Megan actually sent these to me. I didn't have any. So she sent me 50-50, sent me four, two are for her, two are for me. I'm going to give one of them away. So, uh, yeah, just comment down below, be subscribed, and hit the like button too. And why not? You know, right there. All right. So, yes, we did. Oh, there was one other thing. Um, I didn't know this until the game, you know, I saw him at the game, but apparently Jose Leclerc was there doing rehab, was not prepared for that did not bring any cards for him so I did since I had my bat with me I did get him on my bat I'm gonna try not to knock anything off because it's gonna be pretty hard to see he's got a very small signature and the first part of it actually the pin was kinda messed up but he signed it right here you can, it's horrible camera work I know but you can kind of see where it goes around, and I'm backwards. It goes around right, right, right there it is. It kind of has a loop right there, but pin was messing up, so it's really hard to see on the camera. You can, you can see it in person, but it's really faint there. So I was able to add him on there as well, so that's one I didn't have on my bath that I'm glad to have. And uh, Fergie. Did I get Fergie? And the answer is yes. As you can see here, he signed my bat, and he signed it right there with the Hall of Fame inscription. Didn't ask for a Hall of Fame. He put it. Happy to have it. So, was able to get Fergie. They were really, really strict one per. They were basically you had to hand it to somebody and then they handed it to him. So I got that one and Daniel got our playing card. So happy to get that. And then after we got that, that's whenever I went over and got Leclerc because for the first game I left my bat in the car because I didn't want to carry it around. Um, got the Leclerc. Daniel played a little bit in the bounce house area, and as we were walking back, we saw that um, Fergie was still there signing, so we jumped back in line, and we got a 75 tops, and 74 tops for my um, 10 cent beer night, sorry, I'm drawing a blank, my 10 cent beer night project, uh, project. Which I did wear my shirt, and uh, he uh, he laughed a little bit and said that that was a bad idea. <laughs> so that's it for this recap. Um, again, get your comments in, get your likes in, get your subscribes in. Um, apparently, I hit 400 subscribers, so I will be doing a contest or a giveaway or something coming up. I don't know yet what I'm going to do because I wasn't prepared for it to hit like that quick. Um, so I'll be working on that. Um, the next game's gonna not going to be until like Father's Day weekend, I believe, because we, um, they're going to be on the road after this homestand. They're going to be on the road for like two, three, two weeks and then I'll be out of town. So it's going to be a little bit. You got some time, but don't wait too long. All right. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.